Hey Jason Rick and welcome back to my channel. From time to time I put out a bunch of videos on whatever. Uh, my channel doesn't really cover anything in specific. It could be pets, it could be plants, it could be DIY projects, it could be anything. So you never know what I'm going to come out with next. Hey that subscribe button's down there in the corner. Click that. It's going to be running throughout the video. That'll subscribe you to my channel. Hit that bell on the, on the YouTube page and, and that'll give you anything new that I just put out. So let's get to it. Hey Trick and welcome back to another video. I know these are trying times and uh, we're all trying to uh, stay healthy from this virus and a lot of us are staying in and we're preparing our foods ahead of time and we're freezing them or we're storing them in the refrigerator. So I decided to do this video. I've been also trying to get healthier and stock up on my food and doing uh, intermittent fasting and some other things. So I bought these and I thought I wanted to share them with everybody. These are made by Ampro. Now of course Everything these days we know is made in China. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, even when you're in the U.S., a lot of these items are overseas, so it may take you a little while. Hopefully, you can get them. I got these from Amazon. You can also get them on eBay. I'll put a link at the bottom of the description page on uh, YouTube, and you can click on there if you want, and that'll take you to the ones I have here that I recommend. So these are like the sandwich bags that you usually get, you know, from the grocery store. But these are made out of BPA-free silicone. Um, I'm a proponent of the uh, BPA items, you know, so that you don't have uh, caustic chemicals that are going to break down and uh, get in your foods and uh, make you sick. You can see it has a seal that's built into it. And these are reusable. How many uses you're going to get out of them, I don't know. I just got them, so we'll have to see uh, how long they uh, actually last. But they are made out of a nice uh, ply of uh, BPA-free plastic. And you can put sandwiches in there or uh, other prep items that you may want to use and just store them in your freezer or into your refrigerator. You can also microwave in these. Um, just make sure you open them up so that they can breathe when you go ahead and uh, microwave them. Let that gas out so you don't burn yourself when you pop that seal. They're dishwasher safe. And you can hand wash them and just put them on the rack like this. On the top rack of your dishwasher, they'll clean that way. I prefer to hand wash them and just set them out and let them dry on a rack or something. And I'm just old school, I guess, and I'm not a big automatic dishwasher fan. So that's the snack version. And I got five of these, I believe they're for like uh, $15 uh, shipped to the house here. This is the gallon container. And that's comparable to like, say, the hefty Ziplocs you use. I use these on a regular basis. Of course, you can't really reuse these. They're really thin. doesn't take much to puncture them. And I put them in the freezer before and they kind of leak. And they'll get your items freezer burnt. So I don't recommend these Ziploc bags. That's why, you know, I hate to throw things out and then you have all this plastic that can get in the ocean and, I, you know, environmentally not friendly. So I would recommend going with these uh, so we can hopefully uh, keep them around for a little bit longer. And this is the gallon one. The seals seem like they work pretty well. You can see the seal there. So I do recommend them. Now, you may find other ones. Um, from that link that uh, may not say the Ampro on there, but you know, like I said, they're all kind of probably made in the same factory and somebody else stamps their name to them. Just make sure it's a nice heavy ply of material so it'll hold up. I mean, you can see I can't push my finger through this or anything like that. It's pretty thick. And they make different colored ones if you want them. This is, uh, you know, the bands here on the zip portion of it are different colors. I like to clear so I can see my items in the uh, freezer or in the refrigerator. And like I said, I got five of these. I think it was three one-gallon containers and two of the small sandwich-type containers. I guess they're running about maybe 10 inches, maybe 10 by 10 or 11 by 10. And I would say these are probably at least a four by six. So they're pretty good sized containers. Now, so I don't get a lot of flack on this because um, I'm not really sure about the measurements, but uh, let's go ahead and measure them. That way my hypothetical, uh, <laughs> if it's off, you guys don't hold me to it. So I'm going to say the inside dimension because there's a seal there is about 10 inches. Spin it around this way from that seal to the top of the Ziploc is uh, 10 inches too. Now when you open this up, of course, you know, because it's a flat container, it will puff up. So you could probably get a large amount of uh, food in there if it's uh, puffed up and the seal gets sealed back here. So you can put some cake in there or whatever it is you want that uh, 
a little more square in the gallon container. The sandwich containers, they're running around eight and three quarter to the seal. And this way, a little over five and a half. Same thing though, if you have something flat that goes back in here, that seal will go down just like a regular Ziploc. For example, we uh, went ahead and made some um, pancakes and uh, they've been in there for a while and we've been eating them out of there. And they're fine, nice and fresh. These are in the refrigerator. But you could also make this stuff up and uh, freeze it, like I said. Zips pretty easy, even after being in a cold refrigerator or freezer. No problem. So here we have some fresh prepped muffins that we're going to put in the uh, refrigerator. So we can grab them for our intermittent fasting. Um, that recipe is on my website. If you look for it, the um, silicone muffin pans, watch that movie and, uh, and it'll show you the recipe that I made and those muffin pans. So we'll show you how the gallon ones work. You can see how roomy they are. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There were twelve, but of course we ate one to try it out. So there you go. They all went right in that bag real easy. Just go ahead and seal it up. And now it's ready for the refrigerator. So you can see how many went in there. A lot more would go in there. These are pretty roomy bags. Okay, so to further show how these work, actually, this was the gallon bag. And I put some uh, frozen fish in there in a container that I already opened up. And see how easy it was to pop open? That was completely frozen. So these are a lot easier to use than the uh, regular containers. And just pop them right back in there again and reseal it. Okay. And there you go. <laughs> so that's it. Hey, please click that link down there at the bottom of the video. I appreciate all the feedback. Take care. Hey, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, click that button down there at the bottom, that subscribe button. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next. Please share with your family and your friends. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you make out with your project or how you like this video. Take care.